All right, in today's video, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the County Line five foot rotary cutter. Let's go ahead and get it hooked up now. All right, I'm only a few minutes in and I unfortunately already hit my first snag. This top link pin, it's your standard category one. Can't get my linch pin in there. I use this standard category one pin for all sorts of county line equipment. For example, here's my landscape rake. And we've got plenty of room. This distance here is not the same as this distance here. I'm not sure if that's normal. I bought this second hand, so maybe when you buy this new, it comes with a longer uh, top link pin. Uh, I'm not sure if this is just bent slightly because it got beat up or if I need a slightly longer one. I tried clamping it together with this clamp, uh, but that did not work. I think unfortunately I'm gonna have to run to the store and get a longer top link pin because I just, I just can't get my lynch pin in there. His name is actually Austin Post. So his last name is Post. So where did Post Malone come from? The rumor is that he plugged his name into a rap name generator. I don't know if that's true or not. It's Post Malone and Morgan Wallen. Diabetes, high blood pressure, anxiety meds, everyone's on them. Hey, this is Brett Young, and you're about to hear my new single, Dance With You. So you can see the old ones just a tad, 
tad short. The longer one is about an inch longer, roughly. So now I'm going to hook up the top link, add on my linchpin, should be good to go. Alright, successfully got the brush hog attached to the three point hitch on my tractor. Uh, this is actually my first attachment that I own. That requires me to hook it up to the PTO. Um, I've actually never operated an attachment that is PTO driven, so this will be a first. Uh, I did a fair bit of research to make sure everything's on right. I'll just kind of double check everything before I get it started. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and engage the PTO and uh, make sure the brush hog is performing properly. All right, I think everything seems to be working as it should. Shut the tractor down real quick. Take a look under there. Everything seems to be as it should. The blades look decent. A little banged up here. I'm sure I can either resharpen those or pick up some new ones in the future, but uh, yeah, I think we're ready to uh, put this whole brush hog to the test. Yeah guys, this is my new five foot county line rotary cutter. Uh, you're gonna hear me call this a brush hog a lot. I'm well aware the difference is that the rotary cutter is the proper name and brush hog is a brand or bush hog. But however, it is just ingrained in my mind to call this a brush hog. So I will likely be referring to this as a brush hog, but this is my new to me five foot county line rotary cutter. I picked this up secondhand. I've been stalking Facebook Marketplace for probably the last two months trying to pick one of these up. I was uh, looking for a brush hog that was under a thousand dollars and wasn't completely rusted to crap. I probably would have bought a five footer or a six footer. Uh, this is a Ford 4000, so this is plenty of horsepower for this size brush hog but I do however plan on in the future getting a smaller tractor whether that's like a subcompact more modern tractor or if I pick up maybe like a Ford 8N for kind of mowing and stuff like that so I wanted to get a brush hog that would fit on this as well as a smaller tractor in the future so yeah I was on Facebook marketplace the other day and this got listed and within minutes I messaged the guy and lucky enough he was just right down the road. Uh, he had a bunch of other people message him but I was the first one. He sent me his address and I hooked up the trailer and headed over there and picked it up. I purchased this brush hog for $850. I believe they're like $1,600, $1,700 brand new and it's in really good condition. There's only just a couple minor imperfections. There's a little scratch there um, but for the most part if you walk around this side it's in really, really good condition. There's no rust on it. But yeah, before we head out, I'm gonna apply some grease on the PTO shaft as well as the grease fittings and just kind of give everything a once over. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've got this hooked up right. I know it's kind of important to have this configuration figured out because uh, if you hit a stump back here, uh, if you have this set up right, it'll allow your brush hog to kind of bounce over the stump. Uh, so I'll do a once over with that, make sure that's good. And then I think we're gonna head out to a field on my property. It's got really tall grass as well as a couple of autumn olive bushes. I'm really curious to see if this thing can kind of shred up one of those larger autumn olive bushes. We have those bushes just riddled throughout our property and I'll be really pleased if I can kind of take those out with this and kind of mulch them up. So uh, yeah, we'll head out and see how this five foot county line rotary cutter performs. 
All right, so this is what we're gonna be brush hogging. We've got this field here. I keep a center trail just kind of mowed with my lawnmower. That way we can use it as a walking path, which is kind of nice, but we've got really tall grass here uh, that my lawnmower just can't handle. I would have to mow it probably three or four times to get this to look how it is here. Uh, and then I also want to test out running the brush hog on these autumn olive bushes right here. If I can somehow reverse the tractor and just kind of and uh, kind of mulch that whole bush up. I would be really impressed if we could do that. So yeah, I'm just curious to see how the brush hog is gonna perform, kind of cutting this field in more of a lawn mowing application as well as a more of a brush hogging application. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna fire up the tractor and uh, we'll get started.
So before we attempt to take down these autumn olive bushes, I'm going to adjust this top link. And I'm actually gonna raise the back end of the brush hog, which will give me more clearance when I reverse up to the autumn olive bush. I'll be able to kind of come at it at a higher angle, not start off hitting the stump. So I'm gonna go ahead and adjust this top link and uh, raise this brush hog up a little bit. So yeah, I'm uh, pretty pleased with how the five foot county line rotary cutter performs. It uh, cleaned up this field really nicely. If I were to mow this area with my lawnmower, I would have had to probably make five or more passes just to kind of get it to where I wanted it. And now I should be able to just do one pass and uh, make this area look nice and clean. But uh, I really like this area for a few reasons. So Vanessa and I are videographers. Uh, we actually have two video production companies, one of which is a wedding videography company, which we've been doing that for nearly 10 years. And then we have a newer video production company under the name Garvey Media. And uh, that's a newer company. We've only been doing it for a couple years now, but it's a commercial video production company with a strong focus in products in the lawn and garden in the lawn and garden and power equipment space uh, so we've been shoot we have a couple clients that we shoot for and it is a ton of fun and we just love doing it but for those of you that are unfamiliar with video production commercial video production and how that works uh, especially for stuff that we film outdoors which is pretty much everything that we film is outdoors uh, we use this large like 12 foot by 12 foot it's called a butterfly diffusion kit and basically what it does is it just takes the sunlight and it diffuses it and makes it a nice soft white light. But the challenge with that is when you're shooting with that soft light, you also want the background to be shaded. And what's great about this field is it's basically a panoramic view of trees in every single direction. And it doesn't matter what time of day, one of these sides and one of these directions is gonna have a natural wooded shaded backdrop for us to shoot but now that i've got the brush cutter i was able to knock all this super tall grass down and i can come back with the lawn mower and cut it nice and short and uh, kind of keep it more maintained and kind of keep up with this area uh, i need to get all the underbrush underneath all those trees basically around the entire perimeter uh, but before i can get that underbrush i got to come through and limb all these trees the tractor is just too tall uh, branches were just hitting me in the face as i was trying to mow underneath all the trees so i gotta come through limb everything then i'll be able to come clear all the underbrush with the brush hog underneath all the trees so yeah i was unsure how the brush hog was going to handle these autumn olive bushes i would say it handled them really well it uh, basically mulched all the leaves for the most part and uh, it left some, uh, some of the root system obviously left that. 
Uh, but we actually just got a stump grinder from one of those companies that we shoot for, super handy. Uh, we just used it the other day and it, and it works really well. So I'll be able to come through and kind of cut this stump off flush, grind the stump out, fill it in with some fill dirt and uh, level it out. And we should be back in business and be mowing over this spot in no time. But yeah, really impressed with how the uh, brush hog performed with these autumn olive bushes. So yeah, guys, I think the brush hog performed well for its first initial test. You're gonna be seeing more of this brush hog on the channel in the future for sure. We've got dozens of projects we're gonna be using this on. Uh, we're doing a little orchard restoration series and uh, you're gonna see this brush hog in the orchard here soon. But for this video, I think that's gonna be it guys and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. <laughs>